Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft 1.12 snapshot review. This is snapshot 17w15a and it has introduced some pretty awesome changes. And actually, in today's snapshot, parrots are not the main focus. I've just added them to the video because I absolutely love this feature. Now, according to the Minecraft developers, 1.12 is edging closer to the final release and in this snapshot we had a lot of bug fixes including some duplication glitches that have now been fixed because according to the new recipe you could duplicate items. However we have had some introductions, some new features and the main focus is the brand new 1.12 diable beds. Now these are also accessible in the current Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.1 beta and according to Minecraft and Mojang the white bed is now the default bed. So whatever type of die you can obtain within Minecraft, you can now turn them all into different beds. I don't know who decided that the default bed in Minecraft was going to be red, but that has now changed. Now looking in my inventory here, in my hotbar, along with me searching for beds, they do look slightly different in the, uh, the menus. Again, we have 16 different colors that can vary depending on what type of room you're going for. I mean, you can use the red one if you're going for a red theme. I mean, the black and white one also looks very, very good. Unfortunately, they didn't change the uh, the top of them, like the pillow the pillowcases. That would have been pretty fun. And also introduced with beds is they are bouncy. They have a similar bounce to slime blocks. They're not as exciting as slime blocks, but each bed has a little bit of a bounce. And if you go really high and then you fall down, it has a small bounce. However, if you were to do this in survival, you would take fall damage, so I really don't recommend it. Now let me teach you the very basics about beds and how they work. Again, the white one is now the default one. So in here, I've grabbed a couple of beds, just white beds. I want to grab myself a couple of dyes as well uh, and just show you how the crafting does work. So putting a white bed in here along with an orange die will change it to an orange bed. However, this is why the white one is the default one. If I am to put an orange bed in here and I wanted to change it to magenta, you cannot do this. And of course, it would combine both of them colors anyway. So you can see here that the default bed is, of course, the white one, which kind of makes sense to me. Got the magenta one. You've also got um, the light blue, the lime, etc. Whatever color you want. Now, some changes have happened with these as well, and I'll explain, to that. I'll explain that to you in just a second. You can also grab yourself some wool. As you guys can see, we've got some fresh colors here. So let's grab ourselves some orange wool. We'll grab ourselves some yellow. We'll grab ourselves some green. Now you'll notice here that says the new recipe unlocked and it's flashing between items. Now those items are showing you things that you can craft with the specific items you've just obtained. So it showed me that I can craft specific things with these colors. Um, I'm also gonna grab myself some wooden planks, just default ones because you can craft the bed with specific colors as well. So you can see here, we've crafted ourselves an orange bed. The same with green and the same with yellow, which I think is a pretty awesome feature. So yeah, that's been introduced. I think beds are a fun feature. Go mess around with them. Feel free to tweet me some of your creations. I'm really, really interested. Now, something else that has changed is to do with stairs. Now, previously within Minecraft, stairs were kind of classed as a half slab. So it, you couldn't really do much with them in terms of placing things linked to them, placing things on them. However, in this version, they have changed. So in this version, you can place torches, fences, walls, glass panes, and even snow on them. So it's kind of changing the stairs from a half block into a full block, very similar to the way grass is, very similar to the way um, wooden logs are, planks, etc. So you can see here, we can place torches down, we can place fences linked to it, we can place walls linked to it, even glass, and more importantly, you can actually place snow on top of the stairs. So it's a minor feature that makes a big difference, especially if you're a map creator. I do not know why they made stairs a half slab because it's more of a full block than it is a half block to me. Um, some other changes, guys, some pretty awesome changes introduced is to do with the advancements. Now, advancements to me are classed as achievements. Going in here, it has a different recipe. You can unlock more things as you play the game more often, but you can see here it says Minecraft, Stone Age, and getting an upgrade. They've now introduced a description to each type of advancement because as you go further down the line, some of the advancements really aren't clear on what to do. You don't know if the enchantment one was enchant a new pick, craft an enchantment table, etc. So they have from some very brief descriptions, construct the better pickaxe, etc. Um, they did say that this is a work in progress and things will definitely change with that. Now, one of my favorite features within this update has to be the fact that this is an Easter egg. 
Now, if you place down a music disc within this, you can see here. I've already showed this before in my last one. It's pretty awesome because the pirates will dance to it. I've also noticed though in this version, they don't change color. In the previous uh, um, snapshot, they were changing color based on like, well, basically they were cycling through all the pirate things. Now, one more thing I want to share with you in today's video is an Easter egg that I actually missed last week. I missed one of the Easter eggs and that is how to turn your game language into pirate speak. Now to do this, what you gotta do is you gotta go into a crafting table. You gotta go up here. You gotta search for EX Cited. So excited, and as you guys can see, my game is starting to lag. If you search for excited, it changed your language into um, pirate language. So you've got loot bag, crafting. If I exit out of here real quick, we've got return to the fight, advancements, ships, manifest, scribble, let your mates on, mark ye chart, and abandon ship. Uh, and there's so many more, like if you look in the crafting tables here, you've got stone, granite, good looking brown pebbles, white pebbles, good looking gray pebbles, gray pebbles. There's so many different things, which is pretty awesome. I like this one. One of my favorite ones has to be, uh, where is it? We need to find ourselves the snow. Snow is kind of, where is it? Where's the snow ones? The reason why we need snow is because it's classed as slush. <laughs> Uh, there's some pretty awesome ones. Jack o' Lantern. Uh, there's, there's loads of them. So go and have a mess around with this. And even if I go to the main menu, it says Lonely Voyage, Play with Ye Mates, Minecraft Realms, Scribble, Doctor Boat. And to change it back, guys, you have to go into Languages, scroll all the way down. Uh, where is it? Scroll all the way down to your specific language that you speak. And mine's obviously English, United Kingdom, but it says Pirates Speak the Seven Seas. So I think this is pretty awesome. I think it's a fantastic feature. Now, in Minecraft Pocket Edition, when it comes to the new beds, Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.1 new beds and an igloo are white by default. I tried to find a seed with an igloo, I did that, and sadly they didn't change igloos to have white beds like they do on Pocket Edition. Beds are in fact still red. So I'm kind of curious, do you guys think it looks better with a red bed as I break this, or do you think it looks better with a, a white bed in an igloo? Uh, but that's a feature within Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm really enjoying this update at this moment. I'm really excited for the final release of 1.12. I just think overall, this update has gone from being just all about the terracotta blocks, which I'm not a big fan of, to the introduction of parrots, which are so much fun. They're, they really, really are so much fun. And of course, they will actually uh, fly with on your shoulders as well. So I love that. I love the fact that they're going to sit on your shoulder. And also, apparently... Um, they can drown now within water itself. Let's just grab ourselves a couple of these. Just having a little bit of messing around with this. Let's go over to some water here because apparently if you just go into the water, they can drown now. So let's just see if they uh, get on my shoulder real quick. Go on, get on my shoulder. Go on. Get on. They're not getting on. They're not going to get on. They hate me. They hate me. Uh, but yeah, I think they're, they're an absolute wonderful feature within Minecraft. Come on, Parrot. Get on. Get on. Nope, they're not going to get on. But uh, overall, guys... Really enjoying this update. I hope you guys are really enjoying it as well. Um, no, they got off. They got off. <laughs> uh, but apparently they can drown within the game. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to thumbs it up. I'm hoping to start a 1.12 um, Let's Play series. So please be sure to answer the poll on the top right. It's kind of like up here. Make sure you answer the poll because it's basically a question. Do you want me to start a 1.12 Let's Play or do you not? Take care. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.